Hi everyone, I'm here to share with you a quick video. Um, I started this as a tutorial and I just noticed that some of the footage got deleted, like the first half. So I'm just going to pick up where I left off on this. It's a very simple start if anyone's interested in learning how to cast on. There's plenty of videos out there for knitting projects on how to start. And this is just your simple garter stitch. So you, all you're doing is knitting. There's no purling in this. So if you, people that have an issue with purling or switching between knitting and purling, this is perfect. It's just a straight knit stitch. Um, you're going to cast on... Oh, neighbor's puppy barking. Um, cast on 75. And that's what I did. And this is going to be a dish towel. And it's 100% cotton. Um, you just go for as long as you want. I usually go... Um, for probably about 18 inches or so, but you could do it to whatever your desired length is. And like I said, I use 100% cotton on this, and I buy it in a cone. It's cheaper to buy the cone than it is to buy the small balls, unless you can get them on sale. And I'm just going to do a couple rows with you, because it is just super simple, and you really don't need a full tutorial for this, for those of you that do want one. Um, there may be some out there, otherwise I could put it on my list. I do have a bunch of things that I do want to work on, so this will be one of the last ones now. Okay, so all we're going to do is just knit. Like I said, it's just knit all the way around. When you get to the end, you're going to turn your work and knit all the way around. So I'm just going in behind the stitch, picking up the yarn, and pulling through just knitting all the way across. It is the easiest pattern <laughs> that I have found. Um, it makes a nice material. It's cotton so it can be thrown in your washer and your dryer on a low cycle. And I use them all the time. I'm still actually using the first two I've made and they are about three years old now and still in perfect condition, haven't faded. Um, they made it through many washes and still holding up and I have them actually in the kitchen right now. And I make washcloths about the same. You could just cut the length instead of maybe, instead of 75, maybe do 40 to 50 and just go like that and you could just continue back and forth and knit and you'll have the same quarter stitch pattern. It's got a nice texture to it, perfect for your your washcloths or your dishcloths, whichever you use them for, or use them interchangeably. And then when you get to the length that you, you're happy with on this, all you have to do is bind off your stitches and you don't have to do a super stretchy bind off, you could just do a regular one and it'll come out looking just like your cast on row. So you'll have that nice uh, nice square shape and if you like you can put an edging around it for extra detail or maybe like a pico edging to make it like pretty or fancy if you just want to lay it on the back as more of a decor towel. But like I said, this is super easy, just knitting and that's it. So you can relax and do this. You don't have to pay much mind so people can talk to you and you can be sociable and not get mad because you have to count your stitches or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I this is definitely a project I do when I'm not wanting to count or have to pay much attention to it. I could kind of catch up on Netflix or YouTube and talk on the phone even with this. So you put it, you know, speakerphone or FaceTime, whichever you can still be productive. You listen to an audiobook and enjoy your free time but still have something to show for it. If you're like me and you need to feel accomplished in something. But that's it. It's super easy. Just knit all the way across. Hopefully I've been in frame. I just noticed I was sitting out of frame there a little bit. And just a couple more stitches on this row.
and that is one row done. So then you would just turn your work and begin your knits again. And that's it. Just continue knitting back and forth, back and forth. And if you have a knitting machine, you could do this so much quicker, save your hands for those fun projects. But if you're like me, it's always nice to have one of those easy projects on the go just so you got something to do in your spare time if you're waiting at the doctor, um, which we don't wait too often now, hopefully, here. I mean, I know we don't too much with the COVID and everything, but it's always an option to take it with you on the go and have a small project that you could still be aware of everything going on and kind of take part and still have something going on to keep you occupied for your hands and show for that time that you were spending doing something else that you may not have wanted to do even. But thank you guys for joining me and if you make any I would love to see your pictures or anything so you can message me uh, in the about section I believe it'll tell you how to get a hold of me so you can send that and I would love to see what you guys are doing and any of my social media just tag me and show me what you've been up to and thank you guys for joining me today and I'll see you on the next video bye